Uh, cool. So, this is something that everybody has already read and made content off of. And of course, someone on the Kiwi Farm has put together an effort post, and the world uh, reads it on YouTube for hundreds of dollars, and I am the last to benefit from it. So, this is the timeline for Degeneracy for Ricada. I'll skim over it pretty pretty briefly. It's actually really shocking um, how quickly this all happened in public, and it leaves a lot to wonder, like, what exactly kicked this off. Now, what I don't know is if this person only started at this with this in mind or if this is just where it started. But in May or in June or 2022... <clears throat> Nick's worst day happened, um, which was confirmed on July 4th, 2022. And then um, that's where it starts in July 4th, 2022. So I really don't know if this guy went through every video of him or, or if he just started at this point to try and figure out where the worst day happens. Um, but that's it's where the the decline begins. He starts talking about how moms should do OnlyFans. He starts talking about pegging and cuckoldry, and he announces that the worst day had happened, but has never explained what it is. This is still a mystery. Um, then, the anime Matsuri and women stepping on Nick pictures are posted. Uh, he goes on his Hedonism Two trip in August. Uh, during International Swingers Week. Um, he has this weird bout on the Simpcast. I think this is where he's talking like Brittany Venti and shit. And they look extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, this is a good... This is a, This is what the kids call a Jimmy. Let's take a listen. Assuming that one's the load. I'm like, guys, I'm a libertarian. I yeah. talk about sex... Sex toys. I go on shows defending pornography as free speech. Uh, I have an um. Just I need to blow this up to full screen because, like, as he starts to talk, every person in this has like a different reaction. And I think it was Brittany Venti and Melanie Mack who have a re like a scornful look of pure and utter contempt as he starts to prattle. Most on. encyclopedic knowledge of porn stars. By Dude, look look at her face in particular because she. Guys, like, I'm a libertarian. Like she seems like engaged in the conversation. She's I like paying about... attention. She's touching her hair. She's like chill in her zone. Sex, sex toys. I go... and then he starts talking about sex, and she's like, mm, "That's kind of weird." Go on shows defending pornography is. And then she says that, and literally she just freezes. She just completely freezes. She's no, she no longer feels safe. She is just like frozen. Free speech. Uh, I have an almost encyclopedic knowledge of porn stars by name, which... Now she's touching her hair, but it's like in a really uncomfortable way. Brittany Venti appears to be frozen in utter shock and hatred of Nick, <laughs> Nick Ricada at this point. Kind of embarrassing. Who's your face? Someone, people laugh, and she's like in shock. They're like laughing it off as like awkward, and then these two are just like not moving. You can really tell where their, their opinions right, are. Top three, go. Oh, uh, favorite would be Crystal Boyd. Uh, followed by Kenzie Reeves, and then dude, her body, dude, Melanie Mack should never play poker because her body language is just like so obvious. And, um, I don't know. Is there any? <laughs> there are other... She's like scratching her ones? nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but I actually like. Brittany's like shaking. Look at her <laughs> her head. She's like but, literally uh, physically actually, shaking like... and like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a perfect clip. Anyways, um, da, da, da. oh, this is where Kayla gets her facelift, and they stream from Minneapolis while Kayla gets a procedure. So this is when she's having her facelift, and for whatever reason, Nick Ricada just streams from the hotel. They're in Minneapolis getting cosmetic surgery done. He's like, "Yeah, I'll just beat up a stream, whatever." I did cocaine in uh, Jamaica. Uh, he talks about swinging. He gets drunk with Farron. Um, he talks about his no clothing room. So apparently, he says in college there's like a room in his dorm where he like it was illegal like by their rules to have clothes on. He starts posting locals pictures of Kayla in lingerie and weird pic 
Nick sucking Kayla's toes? What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? Bro. How have I never seen this? Hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this on a new tab for you guys so you don't have to see the ass pictures. What the fuck? I don't... <laughs> if I've seen this, it was such a long time ago that I completely forgot about it. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's really gnarly, man. Um, Kayla gave a baldo to Rachel. Nick reviews the baldo. This is the true beginning of the end. Fuck this whole worst day ever bullshit. This was where it started. Nick meets April M. Halt on the simp cast. Kayla brings Nick to an underwear only bar for his birthday. Nick does a local stream where he addresses the locals chat. Nick says he cannot be canceled. Okay. Nick first discusses a sex dungeon. Um, th the sex dungeon was like an ongoing thing where he complained about how he was continuously trying to find a contractor in the area willing to modify his home so that he could have a sex dungeon. And he was saying like how lazy contractors were and how they didn't want to do any real work. And it was more like obvious that when he detailed what he wanted, probably with like hooks on the ceiling and shit that could support a human. They were like, um, I'm not doing this. And then they kind of just like ghosted them. So there's that. Nick gets the, I will be us tattoo. I don't remember this. I don't know why this guy used tiny URL for all this shit. That really fucks everything up. Cause it's like, there's no actual indication of what the link is. So if TinyURL ever blocks the site or whatever, these links just break. Oh, yeah, this shit, the My Chemical Romance. I will be us. That's stupid. Yeah, this is a stupid-ass fucking tattoo. Remember this. Kayla acknowledges that she received lingerie from Carrie Mache and brags writing to her. I'm so excited. Nick will tell you what he thinks. So she got secondhand underwear. Claire Bear exposes locals wine mom porn pictures and sexual stories. Um, I officially indicate at January 6, 2023, pull up. And then I warn him again a week later about the, um, oh, this is too long to play. The pull up thing was just about how he needs to stop being drunk on stream and being so lewd and lascivious all the time. And then the uh, second one was more specifically, it was like a week act after, and I specifically said, because he got pissy with me on uh, Signal or whatever, and I said the second time, I said, you know, you should not be engaging with your fans this way because it's a really fucking bad idea. Um, and it's going to blow up in your fucking face, which it did. I streams with Kumalot. Kumalot recalls the hookers in Las Vegas. Um, Nick meets Sally. Farron's DMs leak, including the hedonism, sex dungeon, and swinging. Uh, I make fun of him. Kayla stops wearing her wedding ring. Nick is still trying to build the sex dungeon in May 2023. Talks about the St. Andrew's Cross. Talks about how the Kiwi Farms is bad. Uh, this is the Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Embarrassing stream. Uh, oh, then the shower text happened. I can't believe that was over a year ago. That's crazy. They find the hedonism guys on his Instagram. He gets made fun of by a turkey on stream. Uh, I revealed the shower text in August. Oh, because that, um, the reveal was like a month later, right? It was actually a second shower text, I think. No, it wasn't. I talk about it. I don't have the... I, I screenshotted it, I think, but I think it was on the old phone or something. Ooh. Nick goes to a strip club. Mandy's a man. Let's see in 2023. So now we're in April zone. Um, oh, at the very end of 2023 is where they have their... Um, their hot tub stream where Nick licks Aaron on the face. Aaron gets, April gets a speeding ticket. Oh, this is the other thing. Oh, that's right. They were just streaming in his basement together, and he licks his face, and then he licks his face again, I'm pretty sure, in the hot tub stream. Then 
Then Aaron and April will get a divorce around February. Um, I talked about the ceiling cats. Wait, is is that me? I don't remember if I did that. I remember this. No, the ceiling cats was my thing. I remember this. Lady Rackets has a bloody nose because she's doing coke. Go to a gay bar. Nick cancels his stream. Then the coke stream happens in May. And they get arrested later that week. And you're all caught up with the rest of this, but... It happened so fast, man. Like, he had all of his shit together in 2021. And then by 2022, he's just, like, off the fucking rails. It's crazy how fast it goes. It's a really good write-up. Did I give this a sticker? You guys know I like to do the stickers. I did not. I didn't even like it. How fucking miserly of me. Let's correct this with the sticker, chat. Good post. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!